Hey guys, Jamil here with another Super X review. If you've been watching my reviews for a while, welcome back. As you can tell, I've completely changed the setup. I hope you like it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today, we're talking about Jason Todd, AKA the Red Hood. I got the logo there, I got the wallpaper there, red lights everywhere, kind of setting the mood for this character. Super X came out with the tracksuit called the Todd. Now, how is it? Well, let's get right into it. Now, in case you've never heard of who Super X is, they are a company that makes fitness gear based off of superheroes. So if you go onto their site, you'll see they have track suits called the Kent, the Murdoch, the Parker, the Wayne, and they're based off of Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, uh, Daredevil, and they keep adding to the roster. Now, they sell this off of a pre-order method. Um, it's not custom made, so I know some people, they get confused. It, it, they put on there custom made, Custom means that you send the company your measurements. They don't do that. I'm not sure why that's on there, but it is built to order or in other words, pre-order. So they get the orders first, then they go into production, then they quality check it and then they send it to you. So because of that whole long process, it does take a number of months for you to get the final product. But that's in a nutshell what Super X is. Just so you know also, their stuff is a limited edition run, so they don't tend to keep stuff in stock. I say that because if there's something that you wanna pick up, it would be best to get it before your size runs out because they usually don't restock their stuff. So just keep that in mind. If you see something on there and you're thinking about it, you may come back a week later and your size might be gone. So again, that's just kind of how they, they do their sales. And so now we can get onto the rest of the review. Now they went in a new direction with this hoodie. It has a lot of features that none of their other, other hoodies have before. I like some of them. I don't like some of them. I'm gonna get into that in a little bit, but I'm 5'10", 180 to 185 pounds. I'm wearing a medium in both the hoodie and the joggers. I could have gone with a large, but I'm wearing a medium here. Now just so you know about the material, it is 95% cotton, 5% elastane, AKA spandex, and it is a slim fit in both the joggers and the hoodie. So it fits very close to the body, but it does give you some very nice stretch because of the 5% spandex that's in it. I'm gonna start off by talking about the hoodie first, then I'm gonna move on to the joggers. Let's talk about the positives of the hoodies. I love the shade of red that they went with. The stitching is great. I really like the optional thumb hole. The optional thumb hole is cool because when you don't put your thumb through it, it doesn't look like there is a hole there. It's just kind of blends in very nicely. The one downside to the thumb hole is it's not reinforced, so I can definitely see this kind of coming undone over time. I wish they kind of would have uh, put a reinforcement around it. Actually, in one of their later hoodies, they have a thumb hole also, and they did do that, so that's cool that they fix that later on, but for this particular hoodie, they don't have the reinforcement. Also, the Todd patch on the side, just as a disclaimer, I have the test version, not the final version. So on the final version, it's a Velcro patch that you can take off. So you're not stuck with the word Todd on the side of your arm if you don't want it to be there. Another positive is the 3D stitching. As with all their hoodies, I love the designs that they come up with, with the stitching. On this one, it's no different. I think it looks great. Now onto the bad. Now this is personal preference. It's not really a fault of the hoodie in of itself. This to me is the most costumey. Is that a word? It's a word today. It's the most costumey looking out of all of their hoodies. What I like about repping their stuff is it walks that fine line of being able to rep something that's different and it's inspired by a character, but it doesn't look like a costume. To me, this hoodie looks, and, and joggers look very much like a costume. Now you may love that. You may say, you know what? I love how it looks. If you love it, more power to you. Me personally, this aesthetically is my least favorite out of all their designs. One thing I wish they did was dropped the red lower on the chest. I'm not sure why the red is only up by the collarbone and all of this is just gray. I mean, Red Hood has a symbol on his chest and it kind of matches the stitching on the jacket. So I'm not really sure why they didn't just make the red lower. I think I would have liked it if they did that more. There is a zipper pocket on the left bicep of the jacket. I really don't like this pocket. Again, the jacket is slim fit. 
So the pocket is kind of this oblong pouch. I'm not exactly sure what you could put in there unless you're very, very skinny. If you have any size to your arms, you're not gonna be able to put much in there. Once you zip it down, it's very hard to zip back up. So they kind of need to refine that a little bit. On the jackets, usually in the front, there are two zipper pockets. They went with a zipper pocket on the right side on the front and on the left side on the front, they went with this kind of snap pouch type pocket. Not a big fan of it, but I don't hate it. Kind of, it is what it is. I can applaud them for trying something different, but I'm not the biggest fan of that. I would rather have had just two zip pockets because it would have made me feel more secure when I put stuff in there. On to the joggers now, starting with the positives first. I love the elastic waistband, nice and strong. The drawstring on it is great. It doesn't feel cheap. It's not too thick. I really like that shade of red again that they decided to go with. Now on these joggers, they went with something different at the bottom for the ankles. All their other joggers, but not all their other joggers, but all their other modern joggers, they use a zipper. So this one, they went with a drawstring and I really like it. You can get your foot in and out of it easily. The drawstring is not too long. It does fasten tight if you want it to. It feels great. It's not uncomfortable. It's not restricting. You feel secure without feeling restricted. So this is a new thing from them. They, this is their first set of joggers that they have with this new ankle. I think it's fantastic. I love it. A feature they have on these that they don't have on the other ones also is a back zipper. I call it the booty zipper because it's right over your butt. It's easy to zip. It's easy to close. It's a decent size. You can put things in there easily. It doesn't drop all the way down to your butt. So if you want to put your phone or your wallet or your keys back there, you're not going to sit on them. It's not uncomfortable. It's not poking you in the back. It's a nice pocket. I don't mind it. And then now we get to the bad parts. Back again to the design. This to me is the most costumey looking of their joggers. I'm just not a fan of the, of the pattern. I've worn it with the dark red shirts that I have and black shirts that I have and it just the pants just stand out so much it looks like I'm wearing half of a costume now design choices can be tricky I get it what one person likes someone else doesn't like but one thing that should have been on these joggers for sure I don't know why they're not on here is zippers you've got five pockets total on this thing you've got the booty pocket in the back you got the two front and you got the two side and on the two front pockets and the two side pockets there are no zippers no metal clasps no velcro no nothing your stuff can just fall out and your stuff does fall out i'm not sure why they went with the decision to get rid of the zippers that's standard on all joggers so it really struck me as odd but yeah just be aware of that be careful with your things if you get these joggers because if you're got your phone in your pocket or something and you're laying on the bench or you're doing leg raises or you're running around Stuff's gonna start falling out. But overall, as far as quality is concerned, they're great pieces of clothing. If you just got resurrected out of the Lazarus pit and you need some, some gear, then you might wanna pick yourself up the Todd tracksuit. If you're interested in picking anything up on their site, use my discount code Jamil, J-E-M-I-L at checkout. It will give you a discount and help support me to keep making videos like this. If you thought it was informative or entertaining, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more fitness videos or like about fitness topics and stuff like that, make sure you know to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel because I will be coming out with videos every single week about Super X and other fitness stuff and topics check out my website jdfitness.us if you're interested in personal training or online coaching or custom meal plans or training programs all that kind of stuff i have on my site thank you so much for watching have a great week and i'll see you next time